we are going to be showing you guys her nursery today. If you guys have been with me for a little while, you know I'm Rachel from the Confused Millennial, and I actually already revealed her nursery a couple months ago, which is this room. And we are currently in, but in that video, I talked about turning this room into my office, which I have officially done, and she is finally in her forever room. And I took the last couple of weeks off because we had a hurricane, we went out of town, and then we got sick, and trust me, nobody wants to hear my voice when I was sick. So let us get into her desert moon themed nursery, including some hacks, furniture skips, and so much more. started with this velvet evil eye pillow i found at urban outfitters quick note all of these products are going to be linked in the description box below so you guys can shop them i love the yarn detailing mixed with the velvet it gave it this fun boho vibe that matched this more love pillow i already had which has some velvet and crochet and i got this little tassel velvet pillow to kind of tie that all together obviously she doesn't sleep with these we normally put them in her db which i'll show you guys later which leads us to the moon card tarot tapestry i fell in love with this when i saw it and one of my tips is going to be go with items that you feel called to even if they aren't quote unquote traditional nursery items obviously this and the pillow are definitely not what you typically see in a nursery they're more like college dorm room type stuff but when i was pregnant with her she felt like a very old soul i also pulled tarot cards every day and her middle name was moon so this was one of the ways that we really have that kind of personal touch on her room and i loved how the moon sat above this kind of desert it's what ended up giving us the inspiration for the next corner of her room because obviously this is kind of a harsher look I wanted to soften it up and this is how we did that I found an Etsy shop called Pearl Walls and found these adorable watercolor cacti. They come in a set of six. So you can also get custom orders and we got the medium height. And basically they come as like a couple big sheets that you go ahead and cut out. And then that little squeegee device allows you to kind of just peel back the sticker layer working from the bottom up and just scrubbing it onto the wall to make sure there's no bubbles into it. Um, because of the height of some of these, we obviously use two pieces people that random little blue strip in the corner was a test piece I wanted to use since we ended up not using that one very easy to apply the one I'm working on here as you can see we didn't put it all the way down to the ground because obviously the TP is going to be covering that portion so we wanted it to be a little bit taller I ended up making it too tall where you could see the gap between the bottom of the cactus and the actual TP so I ended up having to take this one off and move it down and reapply it and that whole process was really easy too I don't have video of it but the moral of that story is don't stress out if you end up messing up the wall decals at all we also messed up this little guy um we were feeling a little too confident and we pulled that a little too aggressively where we ended up accidentally ripping the decal and pulling off a little bit of the cactus spot there you see me realizing it and so reapplying that on was actually really easy um really you cannot notice that that happened at all so again do not stress and like get too freaked out about applying these they are so easy they are very forgiving at least that was my experience going back to the main cactus corner we got this giant lace teepee it's seven and a half feet tall i honestly had been looking at it and forgot i put it on our amazon baby registry so when it showed up at our door i was very confused about how eric's high school guy friends had chosen this for us and was like oh my god it's fate it was meant to be totally forgetting i had added it to my registry anyway um it's it's obviously really, really tall. I wanted this one to be really tall because I wanted to be able to bring it outside for birthday parties and things like that down the room road. I wanted to be able to stand up in it myself and feel comfortable. And how I kind of designed this was I took an old blanket to pad the back and use some other just everyday bed pillows that we don't use to line kind of the sides. And then I went in with some throw pillows that I already had on hand and then I got these kind of southwest style um, geometric ones from Target that kind of tied in the desert vibes if you will and I found a cute little cactus or llama pillow from Hobby Lobby just to add in that more yarn texture I mean the southwest ones have yarn texture like in her crib too anyway so this is how the corner ended up coming out up at the top I actually got a hook that we drilled into the ceiling to move this macrame we had in our kitchen and use it in her room as both a planter and also to store stuffed animals growing up i had a hanging stuffed animal thing similar to this so i really liked that 
touch that brought me back to my childhood we put her changing pad we have the hatch changing pad here and i got a little moon salt lamp and in this uh drawer is where we have like her diaper station if you will so kind of a hot tip here a lot of the times you'll see people tell you to go to like the dollar store or target and get the plastic bins instead we go for shoe boxes and the reason for that is is this was the box that I, we originally used for her diapers and it was the perfect size box for newborn diapers but as you see for size three it just doesn't work so we needed a larger box so we really like the idea of having shoe boxes that kind of upgrade um, and you don't have to spend money on them as your diapers get bigger and you may need to swap things out we also have this nail file i love we have her Lolita, which i love for her eczema and we use Burt's bees diaper cream the reason why everything is a tube instead of um, the jar is because it prevents cross contamination and so that's kind of like her little diaper area if you will and then these dopies here are actually from my childhood and i got the velvet green pillows to tie in with the velvet from her crib pillows and then obviously the green tones from the wall cacti and this is how it all came together around the tp i added these um a couple of green leaf garlands and a couple of flower garlands and we also ended up replacing her fan we went with this mint green kind of retro vibe since when i was pregnant with her she kept showing me pale green and pink and so i really wanted to honor those colors during my meditation she would always show me them and this wall here it's kind of hard to tell is actually a very pale green that matches the fan i also found this celestial banner and i decided to hang it over her door because evil eyes for protection and then these prints they are from a fabulous Etsy shop and come in so many colors and sizes. These are the copper ones with the gold drops and every single person that walks in this room, it's the first thing they comment on. They are stunning, even more beautiful in person. If you can believe it, they were are the perfect thing to go above our little moon's crib and they just kind of tie in that vintage feel with the pillows and the copper end table and, and they're just really like we're beyond obsessed with how this all came out. End table has her white noise machine, baby monitor, and a nightlight, which we don't leave on, but we do use it in case I go in there and need to see anything. We move it actually away from her crib when she sleeps because she does like to hit it like it's really a drum. And then we have her closet. So these were already built in place. We have, um, I hang up some baby wraps. These are some other like kind of tchotchkes. These are from my childhood, the dopies, a couple other stuffed animals that didn't really fit with the overall aesthetic out there. We're keeping stuffed animals pretty minimal though. And then of course her clothes. So in that dresser, we actually don't have any clothes for her. We have a few hanging items and then we are still, those items over there, she doesn't fit into yet. And we are still using the hanging shoe rack. It has been the best thing we had. We have like basic white onesies, thicker onesies, lighter onesies, nightgowns, bathing suits, everything just has its own little cubby. I really like we like I said the dresser that I showed you earlier has nothing in it because that dresser has actually made its way back into my office and the hanging shoe rack has been just the best way to keep her stuff organized and maximize the amount of space we actually have and that's her closet it doesn't have a drawer so we like to keep it somewhat tidy um, I may end up putting up like a curtain or something there eventually real talk we actually ended up taking out the dresser and changing table like i mentioned reagan was in our room for the first four months we had her in her previous nursery for a couple months before moving her into here so we already pretty much had a changing table situation set up in our room that we really liked it was super convenient after i fed her in bed to just go ahead and change her and after spending more time in this room we realized that we didn't really have any like play area and so we ditched the dresser we moved that back into my office we put her changing pad back into our bedroom and instead we set up this little play corner in her room which I want to take you guys through. So this was actually an old bookshelf we had and I just halved the bookshelf and what I did was I got a little basket threw the stuffed animals in there. This stuff was all in her closet before. Hey kid you want me in the video? So this stuff was all in her closet before um and we put in a couple little Montessori toys and we just brought all this out so that way as she does get more and more toys we'll go ahead and put that here so she can easily access those whenever she wants but right now she really just loves crawling around here right baby 
Make sure to hit that notification button because next week I'm bringing you guys my Dollar Tree Halloween DIYs. You definitely won't want to miss. Plus a super easy baby costume from the Dollar Tree. Um, so hit the notification, hit the subscribe button, all of that. And thank you guys so much for joining us on Reagan's Updated Nursery. Um, I'm sure you guys will be seeing a lot more of it on Instagram. Talk to you next time.